Rap, grime and hip hop music has rapidly become one of the most popular music genres of today. But the stigma behind the genre has overshadowed the sheer genius and creativity that is involved in making this type of music. When rap, grime or hip hop music is heard, people associate it with gangs, violence and crude language. In this program we will be exploring the music scene and we will see if there is truth behind the story. PDC, based in Adrian Town Estate in Brixton, used to be known as one of the most brutal gangs in London. And that always turned into a legitimate entertainment organisation, which works to persuade the local children not to follow them into a world of guns, drugs and crime. And instead encourages them to make music. And hopefully we're gonna get a chance to talk with the leader Jar Jar, Bertie and Maddox. Alright, you lot can start by introducing yourselves. Yes, Bertie. I know Jaja, PDC ENT. You are Madness Man, PDC ENT. Don't know. Alright, then you lot can feel free to throw questions at me or just throw your answers at me. PDC, um, well, PDC is. Obviously, he was a crew from the streets, innit? From like old school days, PDC 28. And obviously, we went to. Progressing it, we want to do something obviously we want to better our lives and take us off the street, so turn into our record label. From what I hear on the roads and what I'm hearing from what people say, a lot of people seem to be, a lot of you seem to be interested in Elon's organization. It's like, how, what, what would your advice be to them if they say, oh, I want to join Yeah, no, we don't, we don't, uh, there's no joining, not, we don't recruit people now, we're not a gang. So, so what is obviously, there's a lot of, uh, we, 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 we sign artists from, uh, we got artists from North London, East London, from Birmingham, we, we sign artists from everywhere. I'm saying so if you're if you've got talent, even if you can do like web designing or something, I'm saying man, if you can do something progressive, then we it's on it. But if they're thinking of joining the gang, yeah. they're gonna holler at us. I'm saying because that's what we're not about that. Because some of the youths are, are, are hearing bad stuff and they're thinking, yeah, that's 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 the people, and then they'll try and contact us and talk about, yeah, I just I just wanna come check you, man. What can, what, what can I be this? Can I be that? Can I join? I say, listen, it's not that. If you can rap or you want to join the street team or something like that, then that's what this is about. Yeah. If you're involved with us, then we'll see you as a friend and and family. Yeah. There's no gang, there's no badness going on. So it's a positive vibe. It's a positive vibe. We told them straight like it's not what what we're here for, this is not what's going on here. And when we told them that, it's either they stay or they go. No one ain't no one ain't afraid of anything. It's, it's a wise up thing. Like we're not afraid of the streets or what the streets could do to us. It's been done to us and we've still gone back to the streets. What it is is having the courage and the bravery to say no to certain things and certain people around you and doing something sensible. Like you can't teach like like if we're out here banging and all this, like we can't teach that to our son. I don't want my son to be banging and shooting and that. If I think I'm bad, I don't want my son to think he's bad. I want my son to be smart. You know what I mean? So obviously, that's why we're doing this as well for our children. So children can see, because children are uncorrupted really in the beginning until they see something that corrupts them. So it's better they get influenced by something good than a gangbanger or a bandana or, a, or something foolish like that. So like I said before, sex and violence sells. So if um, imagine a sponge. If you put a, a sponge in a bath, it's going to soak up the bath water. If you put it in blood, it's going to soak up the blood. If you put it in oil, it's going to soak up the oil. Whatever you put that sponge in, is what it's going to soak up. That's what the kids are like. So wherever you put, wherever they are around, that's what they're going to be. So of course they're product, product of the environment. But after a certain stage, you can do something about it. You get me? After a certain age, you can think wise and do something about it. And that's what we've done. That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to promote. We want to expand it so we start doing like uh, music award shows, um, touring Europe. I'm saying we want to bring the hood onto another level. We start doing more books, more films. I'm saying more creative stuff. I'm saying I don't know. We want to open up media centers. I'm saying so. Obviously, not it's not all about music. There's different avenues. You know I'm saying is acting, I'm saying yeah. it's different oh. kind of stuff. So some people want to do, might want to do plumbing courses and that. Yeah. So there's other things in this, other things that it's not just all about music. We've got too much rappers. We need other people to do stuff. I'm saying we need PR people, we need A and Rs, we need DJs. I'm saying so that's what that's that's what we we want to start doing, making it more accessible for the young people and on a, on a big scale. Saying so that's that's our future. I'm saying we want to take we want to we want to take the the streets 
into the good life. You know what I'm that's, that's like our main aim, because obviously we're, we're not just about music, we're more than music. Music's just, that's just what we know that we can do to get us up onto the stepping stone. I'm saying so that's all it is. We're more than music. We're not here to just rap all our life. I'm saying this is the starting bit to get us where we want to go. So yeah, we got a, we got a, that's, that's the future I see we got from the label. For a long time, rap, grime, and hip hop have been the dark horses of the music industry, having only been seen on channels such as Channel U but in recent years have managed to break into the mainstream channels such as MTV, The Hits and TMF. But I want to know about the people behind the music and their views. I'm here at West London Studios. Hopefully I'm gonna get a chance to talk to the owner, Ren. I'm gonna go in, have a quick interview session with him and hopefully we can get some answers. My name is Ren, AKA Record Producer. Basically, I'm a record producer, but in the evening times, certain times in the day times, I run projects. Trying to help out the young ones come up, trying to teach them to produce, mix, engineer, build on something for the future, man, because the other ones are wasting their lives with the future, So, do you guys think, like, it needs to be more, more to come to start? Yeah, no. Like, it's what they're making announcement. I'll sit your wrist and leave you pissed like flats in council housing. And I'm about to be hearing it, but people, like, that can't get here, need to be more, like, more. I was setting up those different studios around the whole bar, <clears throat> trying to um, make music accessible for all the other people in different bars. Uh, in the bar, uh, in different areas. Yes, I do have a lot of people coming to the studio. Sometimes too much use, but it's really popular. Um, that's why we're trying, to, we're trying to expand it so it's accessible for every area. Um, but yeah, normally there's a whole heap of people coming to the studio. I like what I do. I mean, Music's me and I'm like, music type of guy, I want to get the whole music scene up and from vocal to engineering to music and music and everything, so yeah. Now what would you do if you were so you think it's actually a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I chose to get involved in this purely because of my interest in music. <clears throat> and also, going out, we didn't have one of the scenes, so I just want to achieve one and one to take over. So I got involved in this, trying to have one of the scenes, 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 it's always good to you guys. If I wasn't doing this, um, I'd probably be selling some stuff, sleeping in some road, trying to get money or something. Yeah, it's helped me stay off the roads, it's helped me keep my path clean, it's helped me focus on my future, what I want to do and where I want to go. So, what do you want to do in the future? Um, a bit of, well, really, I'm just trying to cover the music scene, like vocaling is one of my main things, engineering is another one of my things, I plan to release stuff, both vocal and mixed down engineered and everything like that, so yeah. Well, you can't really control someone's life, you can just present them for an opportunity and just hope that they take it, so I hope that I have to help kids to get off the street and get off the roads, like I can name a few that have, but I can't speak for every single, every single person, that I can, I've worked in thousands and thousands of years. So, um, I can't speak for everyone, but I hope that I have all some to get off the streets, yeah. I've been in numbers of gangs, some real, some fake, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, I chose to get out of the gang because of what was happening. Like, a lot of friends, so-called friends, were moving kind of fake. So I chose to get out of the gang. I moved away from my old estate, moved to Southampton, linked up with Ren, and now I'm doing this in the gym. What would you say is, like, the relationship? To you and the workers, you get on, yeah. and they're cool with that. You can't joke with them. It's yeah. good. It's fun. It's, do you think it's better that way though? Yeah. It's better, it's better to have a relationship with them, like, other than, like, it's nice to know that they're adults, but, like, it, it's not a relationship, like, the same relationship with your mum or your grandma. So you can't talk to them. You can talk to them, eh? It's changed me as a person. Me and who I am now, like I'm more aware of everything that goes on in the, in the music industry. It's made me more like I don't know. It's just made me who I am, innit? Like right, London Borough of Ealing, trying to help kids come on a positive light. Um, just like Jamal Edwards, SBTV doing filming today, and every other kid that we've done. So yeah, there you go.
Cheers, mate. Well, I have to say, it seems like Ben's doing a better job than what he's getting credit for. He's managing to get use off the street, get into the studio and make music. And a lot of it is positive. And that's what I'm not. A lot of people don't seem to be understanding his movement and he's not getting credit for that. So that's something that does need to be acknowledged. Okay, so there's one more person I feel that I'm gonna need to interview for this. His name's Purple Simba. He's from North Acton, West London. So I'm gonna go take a trip over there, get him to answer some questions for me and hopefully we will finally get to the bottom of this and see why we can get some news to be portrayed in a positive light. Wish me luck. Like, see my music, what it's about, like, I just try and, like, reflect what's going on around me, innit? Like, try and reflect what's going on from my area and see shit what I see going on in different areas as well. Like, seeing, like, try and talk about stuff that's going on with young people today, innit? So is it, is it like a positive view or got a negative? Like, well, I try to, like, just give, like, give my, my view, innit? Whether you see that positive, negative, that's another thing, but, like, a lot of people class me as a, a positive artist because I can highlight negative things. You know what I'm saying? Like, personally, like, I never really see myself as a positive artist, but because I highlight negative things, talk, and, like, talk about negative things, you know, my negative things is in, like, I can see what's going on. Me, I decide. it seems there is more to these youths and grand music than a show but the question is instead of stopping these youths why don't we help and encourage more studios to break away from the stereotype the media have created and help portray them in a positive light them purple did not vote because the government lets the drugs in and the government brings the guns in and they make money off us when we're caught hustling get to know that the government brings the drugs in and the government lets the guns in and sit pretty while we push slugs in each other's back we gotta done this black on black if for any reason i held heat i'd aim it at tony blair's yeah i want some fucking answers and don't think that i won't cop back Tell me why you feed us crack. Tell me why we're in Iraq. Tell me, I wanna know the truth about United Nations. And why you pretending that you got beef with that broadcasting corporation? Don't lie, you don't need the aggravation. I know you know that Bush's bros are communicating with Satan. Uh, well, alright, let's see how you like losing your wife. Let's see how you like life being taken right before your eyes. It's ironic, Tony, that this piece you chose to show me, this piece your homie sold me, is gonna be the piece that leaves you lonely. She work the girl, she work the pole, she break it down, she take it low, she find herself, she bout the dough, she doing a thing out on the floor. Her money, money, she make it, make it, look at the way she shake it, shake it, make it want to touch it, make it want to taste it, how you lust it for it, going crazy, face it now, don't stop, get it, get it, the way she shake it, make you want to hit it, then she double join it from the way she split it, got your